GitHub is moving fast, and today's trending projects are absolutely stacked. This is GitHub trending today, number 19, where we break down 30 open source projects that are trending right now on GitHub. Let's get started. Flux2.c, the legendary creator of Redis, Antires, just dropped a pure C inference engine for the new Flux2 image model. But here's the twist. He didn't write a single line of code. He architected the system and had an AI agent build the entire implementation in one weekend. It runs the massive 4 billion parameter model with absolutely no Python and no heavy dependencies, just raw, efficient C. We've all been there, stuck at the airport next to a guy screaming on speakerphone or blasting TikToks. This repo solves that using actual science. It's a speech jammer that runs right in your browser. It listens to their voice and plays it back to them with a specific milliseconds long delay. This creates delayed auditory feedback, which basically hacks their brain and makes it physically impossible for them to keep talking. This is the modern replacement for MTR that we've been waiting for. Meet TTL, a beautiful Rust-based TUI for network diagnostics. It takes standard tracer out and upgrades it with real-time spark lines, automatic ASN lookup, and deep traffic analysis. It detects things other tools miss, like load balance paths, MTU black holes, and route flaps. Yep, it gives you a complete visual x-ray of your network connection directly in your terminal. This is effectively NPM for your AI agent. Meet AdSkill from Vercel Labs, a CLI that lets you install new capabilities into Claude code or cursor with a single command. Instead of manually pasting prompts or dragging markdown files into hidden folders, you just run npx add skill, and it automatically fetches the tools, configures the paths, and gives your agent instant access to libraries of knowledge, like React best practices or deployment scripts, without you lifting a finger. Z80 AI, a project that forces a large language model to run on a processor from 1976. This isn't a joke. It's a full inference engine written in handcrafted assembly for the Zilog Z80, the same chip that powered the original Game Boy and Pac-Man arcade machines. It allows you to run a tiny llama model on a TI-84 graphing calculator or a ZX Spectrum. It is agonizingly slow and completely impractical, but it is the ultimate flex in low-level optimization. Hunspell Colorize. This is what happens when the creator of Linux gets annoyed by typos. Written by Linus Torvalds himself, this is a tiny C utility that does exactly one thing. It acts as a filter for your terminal text. You pipe a file into it and it spits it back out with every spelling error highlighted in red. It doesn't try to auto-correct you, it just points out your mistakes so you can fix your commit messages without ever leaving the command line. You know those minimalist city maps you see all over Pinterest and Etsy for like 50 bucks? This tool lets you design the exact same thing. You just type in any location, New York, London, your tiny hometown, and it renders the street grid. You can customize the colors, change the layout, and it automatically adds the stylish text and coordinates at the bottom. Once you love it, you just export the high-res file and print it yourself. OpenWork, the open source alternative to Claude Cowork. It is a native desktop app that gives you that same agentic experience for free running locally on your machine. Powered by the OpenCode engine, it wraps the chaos of a terminal agent into a clean, beautiful GUI. It features a proper permission system, so you know exactly when the AI is trying to delete a file, and a visual dashboard to track its plans and progress. Heartlib, the open source answer to Suno that gives you control over AI music. It's a complete suite of foundation models for generating, compressing, and transcribing audio. It features a music language model that turns text prompts and lyrics into full multilingual songs, paired with a specialized heart codec to keep fidelity high. It even includes a dedicated lyric transcriber, giving you a full stack audio production studio that runs on your own hardware. If you work in data, you know the nightmare of dark data, screenshots, scanned invoices, or diagrams that your database just can't read. This tool fixes that. It uses computer vision to look at your static images, whether it's a table, a form, or a layout, and instantly converts it into clean, structured XML. 
It effectively unlocks the data trapped inside your pixels so you can actually query it. It's a bridge between your messy files and your data lake. If you love the Claude Code CLI but hate paying the API bills, this is the loophole you've been waiting for. Normally, every command you type costs money, but this tool intercepts those requests and reroutes them through Google's anti-gravity platform. Why? Because anti-gravity is currently giving free access to models like Claude Sonnet. This proxy basically tricks your terminal into using Google's free quota instead of your paid anthropic credits. This is Ableton Live for creative coders. Meet New World, an open source audio visual sequencer that lets you perform with your code. Instead of just writing a static 3JS script and staring at it, this tool gives you a full dashboard to trigger, sequence, and mix your visual modules in real time. It separates your control screen from the projector output and handles all the MIDI and OSC inputs for you. Stop staring at your terminal waiting for Claude to finish. Meet One Code, the open source GUI that finally makes AI coding parallel. We all know the pain. You give Claude Code a task and your terminal is locked for 10 minutes. One Code fixes this by wrapping the agent in a visual dashboard that lets you run multiple tasks at once. You can have one agent fixing a bug and another writing docs simultaneously, each running in its own isolated Git work tree. Project Dashboard by JSON, a modern project management interface built with Next.js and Shad CN. It's not just a pretty mock-up, it's a fully functional starter kit with a responsive sidebar, progress tracking, and a modular design system architecture. If you're an indie hacker or founder trying to ship a SaaS without hiring a designer, this is exactly the code base you need to clone. If you are a developer, your computer is probably a graveyard of old SDKs, 50 different versions of Node, and forgotten Python environments. It's a mess. This desktop app fixes that. It scans your entire system to find every single development tool you've ever installed. It gives you a unified dashboard to see exactly what is eating your disk space and lets you wipe out the junk versions you haven't touched in years. It's basically a deep clean for your local host. Created by Anthropic Hackathon winner, this repository isn't just a list of prompts. It's a battle-tested configuration suite that turns Claude code from a chatbot into a senior engineer. It includes custom skills for test-driven development, automated hooks that lint and type check every file the AI writes. If you want to stop fighting with context windows and start shipping production code, this is the config you need to clone. SLED, a voice bridge that teleports your AI coding agents to your phone. We all know typing code on a mobile screen is a nightmare, but agents like Claude Code need your input constantly. SLED solves this by running a secure tunnel to your desktop, letting you talk to your agent from anywhere. You literally just say, refactor the API. It runs the actual code on your home machine and then reads the results back to your headphones. We want autonomous AI agents that can actually do things, right? But giving an LLM right access to your production database is absolutely terrifying. Cordum fixes that by acting as a safety kernel for your AI. It sits between the agent and your tools. If the AI tries to do something risky, like deleting a file or deploying code, Cordum intercepts it and forces a policy check. You know how reading takes forever because your eyes have to physically move across the page? That's called saccadic movement, and it actually slows down your brain. This tool fixes that using the RSVP method. Instead of pages, it flashes words in the exact same spot at massive speeds. We're talking 600 to 800 words per minute. You just load your text, set the speed, and absorb information faster than you ever thought possible. Vibecraft a 3D visualizer that turns your Claude code sessions into a virtual workshop. It hooks into your local terminal, and every time the AI performs an action, you actually see it happen in the game world. When Claude reads a file, the avatar walks to the bookshelf, and when it writes code, it sits down at the desk. It supports voice input and multiple agents at once, effectively turning your coding workflow into a video game. You know how in Chrome you can just inspect element to see exactly where a button starts and ends? This tool brings that exact superpower to your entire Mac. 
With X-Ray, you just hit a shortcut and hover over any app. It automatically snaps to the UI elements, whether it's a sidebar, a specific icon, or a modal. You click once and it copies a perfect clean cutout of that element right to your clipboard. Humanizer, a Claude code skill that removes signs of AI-generated writing from text so your output sounds naturally human instead of robotic or obvious AI content. Instead of pasting your draft into yet another rewrite tool, this plugin lets Claude Code clean up your text right inside your agent workflow, smoothing tone, reducing AI-like phrasing, and making it feel like you actually wrote it yourself. Steve, a CLI for driving Mac applications via the Mac OS Accessibility API. Instead of clicking around manually or writing brittle Apple scripts, this tool lets you automate apps, windows, UI elements, and interactions straight from your terminal. You can launch apps, focus a window, take screenshots, and assert UI states using simple commands, with all output in JSON, so it's perfect for scripts or agent workflows. We want AI agents to design for us, but the official Figma tools are read only. The AI can look, but it can't touch. This repo changes that. It is a CLI that gives your AI agent full write access to your Figma canvas. But the genius part? It lets the AI write standard JSX, which it's already great at, and instantly renders that code as real, editable Figma layers. It hooks into the internal multiplayer protocol to be 100 times faster than a standard plugin. We want to build AI agents that can control our computers, but there is a huge problem. Most models are legally blind when it comes to coordinates. They can see a button, but they can't tell the mouse exactly where to click. Show UI fixes that. It is a vision model trained specifically to understand user interfaces. It splits your screen into high resolution patches so it can read tiny text and pinpoint icons with pixel perfect accuracy. If you are a developer, you know the pain of managing environment variables. You probably have five different .dynvi files, you're constantly copy pasting keys from Slack, or you accidentally commit your secrets to Git. Envi fixes this. It's a Rust-based CLI that manages all your variables in one place. Instead of juggling files, you just run NVI run dev, and it injects the exact keys you need for that specific session. You know how you always have to unlock your phone or swipe just to see what day it is? This fixes that without ruining your aesthetic. It isn't an app. It is a powerful iOS shortcut that takes your current wallpaper overlays a clean, customizable monthly calendar on top of it, and resets it as your background. You can move the calendar around so it doesn't cover faces, change the colors, and set it to update automatically every morning. Dreamer 4. We finally have a clean PyTorch implementation for the world model that beat Minecraft. Built by Nicholas Hansen, this repo ports the groundbreaking Dreamer 4 architecture from Jax to PyTorch. Dreamer 4 is famous for being the first agent to collect diamonds in Minecraft purely by dreaming on offline data, watching videos without ever touching the keyboard. We know the Claude CLI is powerful, but it's also kind of terrifying. One hallucination and it could accidentally arm my SRF your entire project or force push over your team's work. This repo fixes that. It's a plugin that adds actual hard breaks to the AI. Instead of just asking Claude to be careful in a text file, this tool intercepts every single command before it runs. If the agent tries to nuke a folder, this safety net blocks it instantly. Stop guessing why your JSON is broken. Meet Ferrite JSON, a Rust-based validator that actually speaks human. Instead of giving you a cryptic, unexpected token error, it points to the exact problem, like a trailing comma or a missing quote, and tells you exactly how to fix it. It uses the Miet library to render beautiful, colorful error reports that look like modern compiler output. 